Hey guys, Zerotex also here, and today we are gonna test the Malak Bytes antivirus versus the Nova Shield virus. Uh, I know that yesterday I made a video, but I made with the Malware Bytes free, not with the normal Malware Bytes, just know. So yeah, today we are gonna test the normal Malware Bytes antivirus versus the Nova Shield fake antivirus, aka ROG. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and let's get straight to it. Okay guys, so the first test, as you guys usually know, it's gonna be with all the protections on. As you guys can see, I'm gonna show you now the settings. These are optional protections, so don't worry about them, they are not that important. These are the most important, so as you guys can see, we have all the real-time protections enabled. The web protection, malware pop, ransomware, exploit and so on. These are all the protections that we have now enabled. And now it's time to run the Navashield drug, aka the Navashield fake antivirus with all the protections enabled on the Malwarebytes normal antivirus in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see, the Malwarebytes antivirus has blocked and detected the Navashield drug from running. As you can see, it prevented the Navashield fake antivirus from running, aka the rug. So what we are gonna do is that we are gonna quarantine it and then we are gonna get further into the second test. Okay guys, so the second test is gonna be with the exploit protection of only, as well as you can see this is the only protection disabled here. And all the rest of the protections are gonna be enabled, as an example the web protection, malware and pop, and the ransomware protection, even though we are not running a ransomware, we are gonna have this protection enabled as well. So now it's time to run the Nova Shield drug once again in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see, once again, the Malwarebytes antivirus has detected and stopped the Nova Shield drug from running once again. We are gonna quarantine it once again. And now it's time to get further into the third test. Okay guys, so the third test is gonna be with the malware and pop protection disabled only. As you guys can see, once again, this is the only protection off, the rest of the protections are on. And now I'm gonna run the Nova Shield drug once again in 3, 2, 1. And unfortunately guys, as we can see, we were able to install the Navashield uh, ROG, the Navashield fake antivirus, as we can see. So unfortunately guys, it, it kind of makes sense because of course if you disable the malware and pop protection, you are at a very huge risk to get infected and as we can see, we did get infected. So yeah, unfortunately the Malwarebytes uh, antivirus has failed the third test, but what we are gonna do now is that I'm gonna re-enable this pro- Anyways, what we are gonna do now, as I mentioned, we are gonna re-enable this protection and after that I'm gonna run a scan, so I'm gonna see you guys at the scanning process. Okay guys, so as we can see, as in the previous video, the Malwarebytes antivirus has detected a lot of malwares coming from the Navashin drug as we can see. So what we are gonna do is that we are gonna quarantine all these items. After that I'm gonna remove them as well. Uh, oh never mind, it's gonna remove them after we do the restart. So guys, what we are gonna do now is that I'm gonna do the restart and after the restart we are gonna see how the system is gonna act like if everything's fine with it. And I guess get a conclusion, so I'm gonna see you guys after the restart. Okay guys, so as we can see the system booted up just fine and as we can see from the desktop as well, it seems like the Nava Shield virus did got deleted from the system, we don't see its icon here anymore. But just to be sure, I'm gonna check Task Manager, I'm also gonna check in the control panel to see if Navashield is still installed in the system or not. So, once again, it seems like we don't have any type of malware running in background, as we can see from here. So, I guess I'm gonna check control panel as well. And if the malware is not there, then that's a good sign. And as well as you can see, the Navashield virus is not here. So, we have all these things with M, with V and with W. But the Nova Shield uh, virus, aka the Nova Shield drug, is not here anymore. So with that, 
I guess the the final winner it's gonna be I know this is gonna be a bit weird and a bit abstract but even though we did got infected in the third test we do need to be conscious that we did have this protection off and as it says here malware and pop protection this protection seems to be the primary protection for malwares, rogs and so on so I guess that it, I can't say that this antivirus sucks just because I disactivated this protection and we got infected. It is a bad thing that we got infected but in the same time I can understand that uh, this is the main protection and it plays a huge role in detecting malware and etc. So that's why I'm gonna still make the Malwarebytes antivirus the winner because even though we got infected when we ran the malware with this protection off which is a bit understandable because once again this is the primary protection of the Malwarebytes antivirus. Uh, after we did the scan it detected absolutely all the files from the Navasheed virus. We also deleted them. We did the restart as well to do a full cleanup from all the malwares and etc. And as we can see the system is pretty much fine. I mean I, I don't see any sign on, of infection for now. So yeah uh, my final result my final conclusion. I think I'm gonna make the Malwarebytes antivirus the final winner in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the results were pretty interesting. I really enjoyed testing this uh, antivirus with that rug. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See ya and stay healthy and see you guys with new videos in the future. Bye bye.